Cash Nation, welcome back to a brand new Anthony Reaction. Today we're checking out The Wild Robot, a film that literally I've heard nothing but high praise about. The best animated film of the year, potentially. A film that's going to make me cry. Great animation, great story. I mean, to be honest, I'll be posting my trailer reaction uh, before I drop this re reaction, but I... From all the trailers, all the marketing, I cannot wait to see this film, okay? I watched Megapolis Thursday Night with Jaren and my dad, which don't got to talk about it much. And this film, I am so, so excited to see. The reason why we're not watching this with Jaren is because he's watching The Wild Robot and Transformers 1 back to back with his wife, Anna. I think uh, tonight or tomorrow, so that's that. Um, as always, with every single film you watch, walking expecting great storytelling, great animation, you know, a great time in a theater, and something to where it's like, hey, again, as always, is this something you should spend your hard-earned money on, or maybe something to watch from the comfort of your own home, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I know a lot of you don't always have the money on you to watch a movie, so it's like, is this something I would spend $50 for, or something that's like, nah, you know, what watch it from the comfort of your own home if that makes sense you know so again i've heard great performances great storytelling i get to make you cry it's like basically where you know someone this robot that basically lands on this earth and basically is an outcast is somehow accepted by the woods the, the animals if you will and basically becomes a mother by the end of the film and i am just i can't wait to see this film i think i'm gonna cry i i'm expecting this to easily easily be a easy an easy nine or ten top top seller okay i would be shocked to high heaven if this was below an, an eight or nine i would i'm like really really that you know what i'm saying so far i don't think i've given any animated film this year not thinking about a negative score transformers one 10 out of 10 inside out two 10 out of 10 this will probably join the, the top seller list who knows so again i'm expecting a wonderful time in the theater an experience that is like no other and of course a few tear drops here and there so without further ado let's welcome to the wild robot let me tell good or bad this film is and again is something you spend your heart or money on or from the comfort of your own home let you know so we just seen the wild robots that was a good movie yeah not surprised i was just putting them together it was like um Fresh out theater. <laughs> yeah, really. So, no, this movie that had a lot of different layers to it. Yeah. You thought it was going to go one way. It told one story. Yeah. But it kept expanding on and telling more stories. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Has a lot of heart. All right. But it wasn't corny, if that makes sense, or, or childish. No, and no. It could have been, but it wasn't. No, it felt natural by all means. It felt sincere. Yeah. Animation was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Sound beautiful. I like the different voice actors they sh shown me through. Yeah. Especially the guy that did the, the beaver and the fox. Mm hmm They all had distinct personalities is the best way to describe yeah. it. Like, it wasn't just like, each animal had its own thing going on. But the, the biggest thing I'd say without spoiling it by all means is... It's like you're put into a school where no one likes you, no one wants to associate with you, and instead of choosing the evil, petty, toxic routes, and this film specifically showcases what happens when you choose to go the right and kind route, if that makes sense. And I love the how that happens, the outcome we get with that, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know? Do so you go from being hated to welcome in a sense you're embraced yeah and you kind of become the leader yeah of the pack yeah it's like in the very beginning you're talked badly about gossip about fear by all means and instead of just sitting there being you know upset cruel and mad at the world you choose to be like i don't care i'm gonna focus on my thing and when all those people that talk badly about you are in danger and trouble instead of sitting there being like you know what screw and you're like now nah, let's help them out let's yeah. give them a hand and in turn that just benefits you well benefits everybody that you Community. Yeah, I mean, th this is a film by all means you take anybody to see. A anybody. Right. Family, little sister, little cousin, doesn't matter. You just for all ages, by all means. To me, this is about putting society as a whole. Yeah. Putting different labels aside, mm. race, gender, whatever Absolutely. it may be. Mm hmm. 
and just looking at the person and just saying, even though you're different than me, yeah. I still accept you into my community. I'm mm. going to help you out. Let's do this together. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, this is referring to in the very, very second act where a big thing happens and it's like, there's a bunch of chaos happening and someone decides to speak up and say, hey, this all happened, but then this happened as well, if that makes sense, without spoiling it right. by any means. And it was a really touching and beautiful scene. Cause it's like, we're all different. We all want to eat each other. We all want to do different things to each other, but we all come together as one to do one specific thing. Beautiful moment. I mean, seriously. Yeah, some of the stuff you think about is kind of deep. Yeah, absolutely. But especially that one thing you just mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very deep. Like this, this isn't like a, I would say this is like a Disney channel. Like it's not, it's not cordy, not cringy. You know, it's not trying to be all cute, cuddly. It just has this moments where it shines a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like this robot is, you know, very, very much bullied. People are fearing it and all that. And I love how slowly but surely it's able to adapt within its environment. It's able to overcome its limitations. Absolutely. Obstacles, if you will. And I just love how the minute that the robot is in trouble, how the people are like, hey, we got you. You're, you're good. You're chilling, you know. And I enjoyed that a lot so much. I would 100% watch a sequel. Yeah. I would thousand percent. I think the door open for that. But yeah, it was a really good movie. Mm -hmm. I want to see it again on Monday. Yeah, I, I would take uh, Gabby to see it, but she doesn't want to see it, which is which is fine by all means. Yeah. But there are definitely going to be scenes where you're going to probably cry, for sure. Some scenes where you're going to laugh, just naturally, because there's some things that happen. Yeah. It's a very well thought out movie. Yeah. And um, I, I will say that for me, at first, that the animation seemed choppy, but the more the movie went along, the more I got used to it. Right. And I accepted that that makes sense. But overall, like the biggest thing I would tell you is that when you see all these edibles, I like how each one had their specific own little small, small subplot, if you will. Like the beaver has mm -hmm. something going on where they're like, oh my God, what's this guy doing over here? That's kind of dumb. Well, turns out. What he's doing is not so dumb. Right. You know, that played a really big part in the film. You know, this big old big bear, if you will, that everybody was like, oh no, it's like actually kind of a cool guy, you know? Well, in the end, he played an important role in stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely, you know. It's like don't judge someone by the color of skin, don't judge a book by its cover, if you will. You know, get to know them first before you judge them essentially. Or give them a chance to express who they really are. Yeah, for sure. So score. I'll give this a 9 out of 10. <laughs> this is a solid good movie. This is a really good movie. We think it's top 10 of the year? Top 10 movie? Yeah. Yeah. I can yeah. see that. Yeah. I I, ha I have I can't think of anything bad to say about the film. I give it as easily ten out of ten top seller. Mm -hmm. I would say a thousand percent. Use your money to watch this in theaters if you can. Don't matter where. Obviously, Regal AMC, but a hundred percent. If you have nothing to do this weekend and you need something to spend time with your family, friend, or girlfriend, whatever boyfriend, this is a great movie for you to watch. You Let's know, check it out. Definitely. Absolutely. So as always, thanks for watching. I can subscribe for more. Peace.